In this video, I will show you how to create fashion design using AI, provide tips on what materials to use, and sites where you can sell those designs or sites where you can make your own clothing line. Take note that I am not a fashion designer. I'm just providing you the opportunity where you can make passive income using AI. First, we go to Etsy and check if there's a gap in the market where we can sell fashion designs. I already type in fashion designs on the search bar. As you can see, there aren't any designs created by AI. It's only drawings of designs in vector format. Now, it got me wondering why there isn't. Maybe people don't know about it, or people have no time to create it, or don't know how to create it. I know you can create your own design just by going to mid-journey and typing in your prompts, but you have to ask yourself, is that design even possible to create? What material should you use? What is the measurement? Who are you targeting? Now, I will answer some of this question and more. Now, step one, go to Keyword Planner. If you haven't watched my previous videos on how to sign up on Google Ads, please click on the link above this video and fast forward to the section where I explain on how to sign up. Okay, now on the search bar, you type in fashion design and then click on get results. Now you need to edit your, your location and then type in United States, Canada, and then Australia. And then hit on save. Now it, this will filter the searches based on those countries. Now you can see, you can select which one you like the most and hi the higher the search term, the better it is. In this video, I chose avant-garde. Avant-garde fashion. The term avant-garde identifies a genre of art, an experimental work of art, an experimental artist who created the work of art, which usually is aesthetically innovative whilst initially being ideological, unacceptable to the artistic establishment of the time. Step two, create a persona. I know most of my videos have this because I believe it saves you time and money when you're creating ads for your business since you already know who you're targeting. I already created a persona in this video so I won't waste your time. If you want to copy this, I already added it on the description below. Step three, check for materials. Now this is important because some materials don't go well with other materials. Example, silk and denim. They have different texture. One is flowy and the other one is stiff. In the description below, I created a simple guide to combining fashion materials. For this video, we'll be using the denim and leather for men, wool and cashmere for women. Step four, Provide the information to ChatGPT. If you haven't used ChatGPT, you can click on the link above this video on how to start. Now paste the data that you have and type in create a persona for the data I just provided. Now I went ahead already created the, our persona. As you can see, I already created Ava and I already created Max. Now we're not done here yet. Now here we can ask ChatGPT what design you want. So for me, I want the jacket So because I love jackets. Now I want you to type in, I want to create a jacket design using wool and cashmere material while incorporating our Ava persona. Make sure it's out of the box. Please be detailed with the answer. This one is also the same with the, the male version. Now, I just change it to uh, denim and leather material and make sure that the max persona. Step five. Now that we have our information, we need to log into Midjourney. If you haven't signed up to Midjourney yet, you can click on the link above this video. Or I recommend my friend's 80% off AI art course for beginners. He easily explains on how to start on Midjourney and prompts. You can find that in the description below. 
okay now we need to do is copy the information from ChatGPT and paste that information to Midjourney and then enter then dash dash AR two by three. Okay, I already copy and pasted the information from ChatGPT to Midjourney and refresh the data. So as you can see, this is the result from the data for the women and this is the result for the data for the men. So I already selected the ones that I think is best for me or the ones I like and this is this is what it looks like. All right. This is a nice jacket. I like this jacket. All right, so we already have the data for um, mid-journey. All right, S step six. Since we are already have the image, we have to check if there's any image similar to the one that mid-journey created, so to avoid plagiarism. So in order to do that, you just go to Google and then type in image here on the search bar. And then you can see something like a search image icon here. You click on that and then upload the file and select the image that you created. Now let's just wait for it to bring up any results. Okay, here is the results. And if you scroll down, you'd see that this image that Midjourney created is very unique. It doesn't show any images similar to it. Okay, so that means we're good to go. Okay, step seven. Now, we need to render the design to Photoshop or Gigapixel. I chose Gigapixel because it's easy to use, but if you want to use in Photoshop, be my guest. So, I need to render this right now. Just give me a second. So let's wait for it to get rendered. It's updating right now. Okay, it's updated. So let's save the information. And then do the source. Now that we are done rendering our images in Gigapixel, so if you go to the route of rendering your image in Photoshop, there's an option for you to create it as a vector file. Now this is what it's going to look like if it's created in a vector file. So let me play this. That's what's going to look like if you create it in a vector file. It's your choice to create it uh, if you create it in a vector file, but there's a better one, uh, better option than this. I'll show you. Okay, this is the better option I was talking about. It's called Claw 3D, that's C-L-O 3D dot com. You can actually create patterns for your uh, clothes and you can do this for your bags, shoes, or you name it for fashion. So this is just a sample of what you can do. So I'll just fast forward it. That's the fat pattern. And uh, let me go. Let's see the there. There's the 3D model. So isn't this the better option rather than the vector format, right? If you video this and put it on your on your Etsy product, right? All 
All right, here in step nine, it's easy. You just go to itsy.com or uh, sazzle.com and then just scroll down and then click on sell on Etsy here. Now, once, you're, once you click on that, you just follow the steps. Tips that I can provide is follow the, the format or some of the format that the competitors made and try to up the price and then create scarcity. Like uh, you can only provide this kind of items for, I mean, the stock for these items is only 50 and then you won't be able, uh, you won't be making this anymore. That type of scarcity. Now, if you have any questions or if you want to know more about how AI can help you, please click on the link above this video. Thank you.